Inna alhamdulillah. Certainly our praise is for Allah and Ahmaduhu. We praise Him when Astainuhu. We seek His help when Astaghfiru. And we ask His forgiveness. When A'udhu Billahi min Shururi and Fusina. We seek Allah's refuge from the evils of ourselves. When Min Sayyati A'malina. And from the bad outcomes of our actions. Without a doubt, whomever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala truly guides and none can set us straight. And whomever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sets us straight, then none else can guide. Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah. I testify that la ilaha illallah. That nothing is deserving of worship as a deity other than Allah tabarak wa ta'ala. Wahdahu la sharikana. He is alone in the right without any partner. Wa ashadu anna Muhammadan Abdullahi wa Rasuluh. And I testify that Muhammad alayhi salatu wa salam. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala raise his mention. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant him eternal peace. That he is the abd, that he is the worshipful servant, and he is the Rasul, the Prophet Messenger of Allah alayhi salatu wa salam. Amma ba'du. As for what follows, then it was stated by a famous poet before the advent of Islam, whose name was Imr Uqais, that he said, يَتَمَنَّ الْمَرْءُ فِي الصَّيْفَ الشِّتَاءُ وَإِذَا جَاءَ الشِّتَاءُ أَنْكَرَ لَا بِذَا يَرْضَى وَلَا يَرْضَى بِذَاكِ قُتِلَ الْإِنسَانُ مَا أَكْفَرَ He said that when it is summer, people wish for the winter, for the cool weather. And when it is cold, when the winter arrives, and karah, they disapprove. La bida yarda wa la yarda bidak. They're not happy with this and they're not happy with that. Qutil al insanu ma akfara. May mankind perish because of his ingratitude. The Muslim takes stock of every situation, every time of the year, with the changing of the seasons. And he, with everything that a Muslim sees, he can benefit from. It could be an opportunity for him to increase in faith, get closer to Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala. It was stated by Sufyan ibn Uyayna, Rahimullah Ta'ala, may Allah have mercy upon him, that he said, إِذَا الْمَرْءُ كَانَتْ لَهُ فِكْرًا فَفِي كُلِّ شَيْءٍ لَهُ عِبْرًا Sufyan ibn Uyayna, who was the Imam of the people of Mecca, and the third generation of Islam, he said, may Allah have mercy upon him, that so long as a man has the ability to think and contemplate upon what he sees, then he is going to learn a lesson from everything. How many verses are there in the book of Allah, tabarak wa ta'ala? Well, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has ordered us to contemplate and to reflect upon the creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the world around us. There are great lessons that are to be learned with the passing and the changing of the seasons, especially in this time with the falling of the leaves and the approach of the cold weather. Allah tabarak wa ta'ala, He described the believer as being one who was productive at all times. And this is something that sometimes is not as sustainable as a person would like. Sometimes a person doesn't have a choice about how productive they are. And how close they come to Allah tabarak wa ta'ala at a particular time. But what a person is to do is to strive and to struggle. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he describes the believers in Surah Ibrahim. When he said, أَلَمْ تَرَى كَيْفَ ضَرَبَ اللَّهُ مَثَلًا كَلِمَةً طَيِّبَةً كَشَجَرَةٍ طَيِّبَةً أَصْلُهَا ثَابِتٌ وَفَرْعُهَا فِي السَّمَاءِ تُؤْتِئُ كُلَهَا كُلَّ حِينٍ بِإِذْنِ رَبِّهَا تُؤْتِئُ كُلَهَا كُلَّ حِينٍ بِإِذْنِ رَبِّهَا Allah tabarak wa ta'ala, he says, don't you see how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given the parable of the good tree, the statement, la ilaha illallah, and nothing deserves worship other than Allah, that he has compared it, the statement, la ilaha illallah, to a good tree. Its asl, its roots, they are firmly planted in the ground, meaning they are firmly planted in the heart of the believer. He says what he says, based upon knowledge and certainty. Based upon conviction, based upon acceptance, based upon all the conditions that are 
the prerequisites of the shahada and la ilaha illallah that make him have the least level of faith. The person he has faith planted deep into his heart and is a result of that. And he, the branches that come from the tree of faith, which are the righteous deeds that he does, they extend into the heavens. Allah says, And so the tree of faith, it produces its fruits at all times. It produces its yield at all times by the permission of its Lord. Tabarak wa ta'ala. Meaning the believer is always fruitful. The believer is always productive. The believer is always progressing in his faith. As Ibn Qayyim rahimahullah ta'ala, he said about the statement of Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala, where Allah tabarak wa ta'ala mentioned his sending down the warning for mankind in his book. He said, لِمَنْ شَاءَ مِنْكُمْ أَنْ يَتَقَدَّمَ يَتَأَخَّرْ That it has been sent down forever from amongst you, wants to advance, or forever amongst you wishes to fall behind. He said, فَلَيْسَ ثَمَّ إِلَّا تَقَدُّمْ أَوْ تَأَخْرْ وَلَا وُقُوفَ فِي الطَّرِيقَ الْبَتَّةِ He said, there is no such thing as staying still. A person is either moving forward or he is falling behind. And so a believer, he is productive at all times by the permission of Allah. Tabarak wa ta'ala. As a messenger of Allah, alayhi salatu wa salam, said in the hadith, Kalaka ba'i nasai, he instructed us. And he guided us, alayhi salatu wa salam, saying, If'alu al-khayra dahrakum, wa ta'arradu li nafahati rahmati rabbikum, fa inna lillahi ta'ala nafahati mi rahmatihi, yusibu biha man yasha'u min ibadihi, was'ar Allah an yastura auratikum, wa yu'amina ru'atikum. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, make sure that you do good at all times, and prepare yourself specifically to receive and to ready yourselves for those specific instances of mercy from Allah. Tabarak wa ta'ala. For indeed Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has times where His mercy gusts in such a way to reach those that He chooses from His servants. Like the month of Ramadan, like the 10 days of the Hijjah, like the day of Juma, and so on and so forth. Times that it is possible to get closer to Allah. Tabarak wa ta'ala. Even times throughout the day where the ajr is mudha'af, where the reward is multiplied, and where it is more probable for a person to get close to Allah. Tabarak wa ta'ala. Take advantage of the time. Take advantage of the time. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said in a hadith that is connected to the ayah in Surah Ibrahim about how the believer is productive at all times. How the tree of faith, it is producing its fruit at all times. He said alayhi salatu wa salam, inna mina shajari shajaratu la yasqutu waraquha wa innaha mathalul mu'min. He said, indeed, from the trees there is a tree whose leaves does not fall. Indeed, from the trees there is a tree whose leaves do not fall. And it is the likeness of the believer. It is the parable of the believer. Meaning the believer is always growing in faith. His leaves do not fall. He is always adorned with the beauty of faith. He is always a source of guidance for others. As comes from the Prophet Wasallam. He said, Awliya Allah alladheena idha ru'u dhukira Allahu ta'ala That the allies of Allah are those that when they are seen by others, then Allah is remembered. They remind others about Allah. Their behavior and their appearance is always something that is a means to attract others to Islam and others to the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The believer is always in a beautiful condition. لا يسقط ورقها And he is like that tree whose leaves do not fall. <coughs> Abdullah ibn Umar, he said, may Allah be pleased with he and his father. He said, فَبَدَأَ النَّاسِ يَتَحَدَّثُونَ So the people from the companions of the Prophet ﷺ from the elders, they, used to, they, they started to speak when he said that about the different shajar of the bawadi, the different shrubs and trees in the wilderness and in the desert. He said, and inside of me, while he was a very young man, I knew that it was a date palm tree. I knew that it was a date palm tree. Whatever the case, the Prophet wasallam he informed that the believer is always productive. We find ourselves in a society and in a culture where people get depressed when the days get short, when the sunlight hours dwindle down, when the green and the foliage disappears and so on and so forth. However, the believer, 
and his culture, the believer and his creed, the believer and his mindset and his mentality. Every time of the year is like the springtime for him. Every time of the year is like the springtime for him. He learns great lessons from looking at the changing of the seasons. The great Imam al Hafiz Ibn Rajab al Hanbali, rahimahullah ta'ala, he says in his book, Lata'if al Ma'arif, his book about how a person benefits from the various times of the year. He says, Kullu ma fi dunya fa huwa mudhakirun bil akhirati wa dalilun alayhi. Kullu ma fi dunya fa huwa mudhakirun bil akhirati wa dalilun alayha. He says that everything in this world reminds a believer of the hereafter. And it is a guide and an evidence for the reality of the hereafter. وَفُصُولُ السَّنَةِ تُذَكِّرُ بِالْآخِرَةِ The seasons of the year remind one of the hereafter. فَشِدَّةُ هَرَّ السَّيْفِ يُذَكِّرُ بِهَرِّ جَهَنَّمْ وَهُوَ مِنْ سُمُومِهَا The extreme heat of the summertime reminds him of the blazing heat of the hellfire. And it is from its sumum. As comes authentically from the Prophet Wasallam, And it is actually from the scorching heat of the fire. وَشِدَّةُ بَرْدَ الشِّتَاءِ يُذَكِّرُ بِزَمْهَرِيرِ جَهَنَّمْ He said in the extreme cold of the winter reminds him of the zamharir, of the bitter cold of the hellfire. وَهُوَ مِنْ زَمْهَرِيرِهَا And it is actually from the bitter cold of the hellfire. وَيَكْمُلُ فِيهِ He said, وَالْخَرِيفُ يَكْمُلُ فِيهِ إِشْتِنَاءُ الثَّمَرَاتِ الَّتِي تَبْقَ وَتُدَّخَّرُ فِي الْبُيُوتِ فَهُوَ مُنَبِّهٌ عَلَى إِجْتِنَاءِ ثَمَرَاتِ الْعَمَانِ فِي الْآخِرَةِ He said in the autumn, the fall season that we are in now, is a time of the harvest, where the fruits and the yield of the agriculture it is harvested, and it remains in the home, and it is stored in the homes of the people throughout the cold weather and throughout the growing season. فَهُوَ مُنَبِّهٌ so it should remind us, when we go to the grocery store and we see the produce, we should be reminded in this season that our deeds are going to be harvested. What we have done in this life, it is going to be harvested and presented in front of Allah, tabarak wa ta'ala, and either it will be sweet and soft, or either it will be bitter and thorny. He said, فَهُوَ مُنَبِّهُنَ عَلَى إِجْتِيمَاءَ ثَمَرَاتِ الْعَمَالِ فِي الْآخِرَةِ This season of the autumn, of the fall, of the harvest, it reminds us that our fruits, that the fruits of the yield of our actions will be harvested in the hereafter. وَأَمَّا الرَّبِيعَ فَهُوَ أَطْيَبُ فُصُولِ السَّنَةِ As for the spring, then it is the most enjoyable season of the year. And it reminds a person of the bliss of the paradise and the enjoyable life that is in store for the believer in the paradise. هذا وصلى الله وسلم وبارك على نبينا محمد. الحمد لله وحده وصلى الله وسلم وبارك على من لا نبي بعده وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم The Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم He has informed us in a hadith collected by Imam Ahmed and others on the authority of Abdullah ibn Mas'ud of how it can always be springtime in the heart of the believer. When he said, alayhi salatu was salam, dua ul karb, that the dua that a person says during calamity and affliction to remove sadness and sorrow from himself is as follows. Allahumma inni abduk ibn abdik ibn amatik nasiyati bi yadik maadin fiya hukmuk adlun fiya qadauk. He said that the dua a person says for worry and grief and affliction and so on and so forth, is that a person says, Oh Allah, indeed I am your abd. 
I am your servant, the son of your servant, the son of your female servant. Now see at Yedik, my forelock is in your hand. I am under your control. Our hands, or our heads rather, they are under the control of Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala in the hand of Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala. Maadin fiya hukmuk adlun fiya qadauk. What you have preordained to happen to me is something that has already been uh, decreed. And what you have judged is something that is just. As'aluka bi kulli ismin huwa lak. And so I ask you by every name that is yours. Sammayta bihi nafsak. Aw anzaltahu fi kitabak. Aw allamtahu ahadan min khalqik. Aw astatharta bihi fi ilm al ghaybi indak. I ask you by every name that is yours, that you have named yourself with, that you have revealed in any scripture, that you have sent down, that you have taught to any creature of yours, or that you have kept in the knowledge of the unseen with you, and have not divulged to your creation. I ask you by all of your beautiful names, as many as there are in all of your beautiful names and attributes, I ask you, Allah, and taj'al al-Qur'an al-Azim, Rabi'a qalbi, wa nur sadri وجلاء حزني وذهاب همي وغمي إلا أذهب الله همه وحزنه وأذهبه مكانه فرحا. The Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم. He says, he says this, and he says, I ask you by all these names to make the tremendous Quran the springtime of my heart. ربيع قلبي شيخ الإسلام ابن تيمية رحمه الله تعالى. He says, ربيع هنا. Al-Matr al-Munbit rabi He said what is meant by it is the rainwater that falls in the springtime that causes the vegetation to grow. To make the Quran like the rainwater that brings about spring in my heart. And to make it the light of my chest. And to make it that removes that which removes my sadness and my sorrow. No person says that except that Allah wa ta'ala remove his sadness and his sorrow and replace it with happiness. It was reported from Ubay ibn Ka'ab, authentically, that he said as a tremendous advice to the people of Sunnah about the importance of benefiting from the Book of Allah, Tabarak wa Ta'ala. He said, Alaykum bis sabili wa Sunnah. He says, It is upon you to abide by the Sabil, the way of the believers, the path of the believers was Sunnah, and the way of the Prophet. فإنه ما على الأرض من عبد على السبيل والسنة ذكر الله ففاضت عيناه من خشية الله فيعذبه الله أبدا. He says, for certainly there is no person on the earth who was upon the way of the believers, meaning the manhaj of the salaf, and upon the sunnah of the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم, who remembers Allah سبحانه وتعالى, and as a result of that, his eyes well up with tears. Out of fearfulness of Allah, tabarak wa ta'ala. There is no person who is like that who will then be punished by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala thereafter. وَمَا عَلَى الْأَرْضِ مِنْ عَبْدٍ عَلَى السَّبِيلِ وَالسُنَّةِ ذَكَرَ اللَّهَ فِي نَفْسِهِ فَقْشَعَرَّ جِلْدُهُمْ مِنْ خَشْيَةِ اللَّهِ إِلَّا كَانَ مَثَلُهُ كَمَثَلِ شَجَرَةٍ قَدْ يَبِسَ وَرُقُهَا فَهِيَ كَذَلِكَ إِذَا أَصَابَتْهَا رِيحٌ شَدِيدَةٌ فَتَ إلا حتى الله عنه خطاياه كما تهات عن تلك شجرة ورقها. He says, for verily there is no person upon the earth who remembers Allah سبحانه وتعالى who makes ذكر of Allah and there is no ذكر that is greater than reading the book of Allah تبارك وتعالى. As the Salaf they said, the greatest form of ذكر is ذكر الله بكلامه is to remember Allah by reading the speech of Allah. The Quran. He said, There is no person on the earth who was a worshipful servant of Allah, who was upon the Sabil, the path of the believers, the methodology of the early generations, and the way of the Prophet, who does that internally. And as a result of that, his skin shakes and trembles out of fear of Allah. Except that the reality of that person is that he will be like a tree whose leaves have dried. And then suddenly a strong wind comes and blows off the leaves of that tree. 
The person who his skin shakes out of fear of Allah. Tabarak wa ta'ala upon remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will cause his sins to fall off of him just as the leaves fall off of that tree. Likewise, from those things that we should think about, we see the passage and the change of the seasons. And we see the falling of the leaves is the reality of the dunya. This dunya that it is green and beautiful and it is going to wither away and it is going to disappear. And likewise is our condition and is the reality of our lives. We see ourselves as we getting older falling apart. Our hair starts to wither away. It becomes gray and white and starts to fall out. Our teeth start to fall out. Our body starts to hurt. We feel like we're falling apart. And the only thing that can keep us thabit is al qawl of thabit The only thing that can keep us firm is to be upon the correct methodology and the correct approach to our religion and the correct implementation and practice of our religion. Otherwise, we are going to meet Allah wa ta'ala in a pathetic state. The Messenger of Allah, alayhi salatu wa salam, he said, إِنَّمَا سُمِيَ الْقَلْبُ مِنْ تَقَلُّبِهِ That the heart is only called qalb. Qalb in the Arabic language means to turn something over. The heart is only called qalb because of its taqallub, because it flips over so much. Because it flips over so much. إِنَّمَا مَثَلُ الْقَلْبِ كَرِيشَةٍ بِأَرْضِ ثَلَا تُقَلِّبُهَا الرِّيَاحُ ذَهْرًا لِبَطْنٍ the reality of the heart is not like a leaf, it is like a feather, less than a leaf. In an open field being blown side by side, over and over again by the wind. The only thing that can keep us firm, as we heard in the beginning, in the statement of Allah in Surah Ibrahim, is Al-Qawl Thabit. And to be upon the religion in such a way that we are firm. To know about Allah and about the hereafter, and about the messengers and about the affairs of belief, that which will make us firm and survive the calamities and the hardships of life. Along these lines, the Messenger of Allah alayhi as wasalam, he said in a hadith, وَالَّذِي نَفْسِي بِيَدِهِ In an authentic narration, he says, I swear by the one in whose hand is my soul, مَا عَلَى الْأَرْضِ مُسْلِمْ يُصِيبُهُ أَذًا مِنْ مَرَضْ فَمَا سِوَاهُ he says, I swear by the one in whose hand is my soul that there is not a Muslim on the face of the earth who is stricken with a calamity, whether it be sickness or anything else, except that because of that calamity, Allah will cause his sins to fall off of him, just like the leaves fall off of the tree. Likewise, when we see the falling of the leaves, we can remember the hadith of the Messenger of Allah, alayhi salatu wasalam and be encouraged to action when the messenger of Allah alayhi salatu wasalam he said إِذَا قَامَ الْعَبْدُ يُصَلِّي أُتِيَ بِذُنُوبِهِ فَجُعِلَتْ عَلَى رَأْسِهِ وَعَاتِقَيْهِ he says that when a person stands to pray all of his sins are brought and placed upon his head and his shoulders all of his sins are brought and they are placed upon his head and they are placed upon his shoulders فَكُلَّ مَرَكَأَوْ سَجَدْ تَسَاقَتَتْ عَنْهُ so the more he makes rukur, and the more he makes sujood, the more he bows and prostrates, the more his sins will fall off of him. Likewise, along those lines, as was collected by a tirmidhi authentically from Anas ibn Malik, that the Messenger of Allah alayhi salatu wasalam, he said, after passing by a tree, أَنَّهُ صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمَ مَرَّ بِشَجَرَةٍ يَابِسَةِ الْوَرَقِ فَضَرَبَهَا بِعَصَاهُ the Prophet Sallallahu on one occasion, he passed by a tree whose leaves had withered and become dry, and he struck it with his staff. And the Prophet Sallallahu al Warak, upon seeing the leaves fall off of the tree, he says, Inna alhamdulillah, wa subhanallah, wa la ilaha illallah, wallahu akbar, latusaqitu min dhunub al-abd, kama yatasaqata waraku hadihi shajara, that this statement, Alhamdulillah, subhanallah, la ilaha illallah, Allahu Akbar causes sins to fall off of people just like the leaves fall off of the trees. And finally, the Messenger of Allah, alayhi salatu wasalam, he said, 
إن المؤمن إذا لقي المؤمن فسلم عليه وأخذ بيده فصافحه تناثرت خطاياهما كما يتناثر ورق شجرة. He says that indeed when a believer encounters and meets another believer and he gives him the salams and he shakes his hand that the sins fall off of them just like the leaves fall off of the tree. اللهم اجعلنا ممن يستمعون القول فيتبعون أحسن إنه إنك سميع قريب مجيب وصل اللهم وسلم وصل اللهم وسلم وبارك على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم يا الله make us from those who hear what we hear and follow the best of what we heard indeed Allah سبحانه وتعالى hears all and is most likely to respond to our prayers هذا وصل الله وسلم وبارك على نبينا محمد أقم الصلاة